watching ABC 36 News at 1230. Welcome back. If you want to give yourself the best chance at fighting the flu, now's the time to get prepared with a flu shot. And today we're pleased to welcome Lois Davis, the public health nursing manager with the Lexington Fayette County Health Department, That's to right. answer all the questions that a lot of you have about flu shots. So many people this year worried about flu illness. And you hear it time and time again, vaccinations are really one of the, the best ways that you can avoid getting sick, right? That's right. In, in public health, we're all about prevention, and that's one way you can prevent from getting sick is by taking the flu shot. Now, we've heard a lot of, of, about trying to get people to go on and get their flu shots during these clinics now. Um, they even arrived earlier than expected at the health department. We covered that a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Why is it such an issue this year in particular to get folks to get those vaccinations as early as they can? Well, this year there are two types of, of flus going around. We've got the regular seasonal flu, and then sometime later in the fall we're expecting vaccine for the H1N1 or swine flu. And a lot of people want to know who is eligible for flu shots. What are the recommendations mm -hmm. of the groups that need it most? Okay, for the seasonal flu, it's anyone with a, a chronic disease. And, and basically anybody over age six months can get a flu shot. And we have plenty of vaccine. And we encourage people to come out and, and get their flu shots. And so much attention with H1N1, but of course seasonal flu, 36,000 people unfortunately die from seasonal influenza every year. That's correct, and over 200,000 are hospitalized every year with seasonal flu. And, and it's something that uh, you can prevent if you get your flu shot. We also encourage hand washing, covering your cough, and staying home if you're sick. Now, the health department has some clinics, and you can just walk in. Uh, you don't have to make an appointment for these, is that, that right? That's true. We have one at 805 Newtown Circle and another one at Regency Road, two public health clinics, and we have nurses on staff there that are only doing flu shots, so you shouldn't have to wait too long. You see the times there that are listed for those uh, different locations. That's actually the Newtown Circle Public Health Clinic, not the... Um, not Newtown Pike. Not Newtown Pike, so there's mm -hmm. a correction on that there. Um, so really, all times of day, there's some late days there. If you work until 5, you can still make it uh, mm -hmm. to some of those times. And um, we also have that information in the health section of our website, too. And um, you guys have a flu hotline for people that have a lot of we questions. We do. That number is 288-7529. And we have uh, people there from 8 until 430 who can answer your questions about flu. Well, we know the vaccines are important. As a health reporter, I'm going to practice what I preach, and Good. Lois is going to be giving me and Mary a, a flu vaccine right here on the set on live television. I'm trying not to pass out. <laughs> I got poked and prodded a lot having uh, twins, so I think I'm used to it. We'll see how Mary does. <laughs> Mary, are you nervous yet? No, I'm good. <laughs> I can do it. I'm ready for it. Oh, good. You know what? I hope you all are ready for the weather. It's going to be nice as we head through the next couple of days. Just you may need that umbrella in southern Kentucky. I'll detail that full forecast coming up. Thank you, Mary. As promised, we are talking about flu shots today, and Lois made the gracious offer to give me my flu shot right here on live television. This is honestly a first for me, so <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> I feel, uh, feel glad that I can get this done at work, because I was worried about uh, trying to figure out when I could go by uh, to see my doctor or hit one of the mm -hmm. clinics. So Relax. talk about it every night on my health segment about how important it is to Take care of yourself and do the things that you need to do to stay healthy, and this is one of them for the flu season. Just relax your arm. Okay. That didn't even hurt. Hey. She's very good at this. Lots of practice. Hurt. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even feel it sting. Okay, that's good. Hold your sleeve up, and I'll give you okay. a Band-Aid. All right. <laughs> yeah, everybody can do it. Yeah, just as easy as that. I honestly didn't even feel the, feel the sting, so... We saw Dr. Oz getting his flu shot today on the Dr. Oz show as well, so I'm in good company. Okay, there you go. <laughs> well, speaking of Dr. Oz, while Mary gets ready for her, her <laughs> flu shot, we want to remind you that we are continuing our week-long contest that ends on Friday with a chance then for you to win an autographed copy of the Dr. Oz book, You on a Diet. And each day this week, we're revealing a different word of the day. And at this time, all you need to do is collect five words from throughout the week. We gave you a word yesterday, so I hope you were tuning in to jot that down. Friday, the first caller with each word of the day, all five of those words, will get a copy of the book with other prizes if you're one of our five runner-ups. And today, here's the word. It's my name, Christy, K-R-I-S-T-I, if you're 
won't even know how to spell it. <laughs> Watch tomorrow on the new newscast, and you'll get the third word. And tomorrow on Dr. Oz at ABC 36 News at 10, we want to point out that he is uncovering the fountain of youth with 10 anti-aging secrets, so be sure to tune in on that for that only here on ABC 36. Mary's getting ready getting for her ready. flu shot. Getting, getting nervous. <laughs> uh, we'll let, uh, let her get ready to get her vaccine. And when we come back, we'll have a special preview on the latest season of Dancing with the Stars.